Happy Friday. I hope everybody's having a great day. So today I'm gonna to be teaching a 10 minute reflux friendly flow. Um, and if you have acid reflux, this is gonna be a very accessible flow because we're not gonna be going in any inversions. We're not gonna be doing anything that puts the, the esophagus over the stomach. So no forward folds, no inversions. We're also not gonna be doing deep twists. Um, and I'm going to be really careful about overextending this area. So if you have sensitivity, we're not going to be doing like any super big back bends or anything like that. Um, but as always, modify as you need. Do what feels good in your body. We're also, um, if you don't have acid reflux, this is also a really nice flow to just kind of break up your day. Or if you have a work during the middle of the day, um, you can do this in any clothes, which is nice. So you can save this and have it um, in your arsenal for when you need to stretch during your work day or <laughs> you need clothes, <laughs> but you don't need any workout clothes is what I meant to say. <laughs> that would be a very different type of yoga. Anyways, all right, let's get started. Um, you don't need any equipment, just a mat if you have one, and if you don't have one, that's also okay. All right, we're gonna start in a standing position. Bring the hands down by the body, close the eyes. Root down through the feet. Start to just get connected to the breath. The next time you inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, we'll draw the hands back behind the body, palms facing one another. So if this is too much for the chest, you can also just bring the hands down by your side. But we're going to start to open up the shoulders. So inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, flip the palms away from each other and then bring the hands behind you, palms facing together. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. One more time, inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, palms away. Hands come back behind you, palms facing one another. Awesome. Let it go, bring the hands to the hips. We'll set the left leg back behind us and softly drop the left knee down. Right foot will be forward. If you have sensitivity on your left knee, you can flip the mat over or you can use a towel or a block. Reach the arms up over the head. Sink the shoulders away from the ears. Reach through the thumbs, stretch through the front left hip. Breath is nice and full, inhale. As you exhale, we're gonna take an open arm twist. Right hand behind the body, left hand in front. So right hand behind, left hand in front. You can bring the gaze over the right hand. With breath now, inhale, right hand comes by the right hip, arms come back up. As you exhale, open up. Right hand behind you, left hand in front. Again, inhale, right hand comes by the right hip, reach. And exhale, open arm twist, right hand by the right hip. Inhale, come back up into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, curl the back toes under and step forward. It's a little bit of a tricky transition. If you need to use your hands, that's totally fine. But try to step through that right leg and, and find strength through the right foot. Hands to the hips, step the left, the right leg, right leg back, softly drop the right knee down. Sink into the left hip, a little bit of an engagement in the core, and then reach the arms up, stretch through the front of the right hip, Again, if you have knee sensitivity, you can, you can fold your mat over or grab a blanket. Let the neck release, release the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, with breath, exhale, left hand behind, right hand in front, open arm twist. Awesome, opening through the left shoulder. As you inhale, left hand's gonna come by the left hip return back to center. Inhale and exhale, open arm twist, left hand behind, right hand in front, open through that left shoulder. Inhale, left hand comes back to your lunge and exhale one more time, open arm twist, left hand behind, right hand in front. Inhale, come back through. We're gonna curl the right toes under, big step forward. Awesome, use that left leg. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, hands come down to the heart. Step the left leg back into warrior two. So warrior two, your right heel is in line with the inner arch of the left foot. 
Reach the arms out wide, deepen into that front knee. Hips are nice and open. Inhale, flip the front palm, reach the fingertips forward, and then up and back. Peaceful warrior. Inhale. As you exhale, back to warrior two, just where we started. With breath now, inhale, reverse. And exhale. One more time, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, into warrior two. As you inhale, tricky transition, but you got this. Left hand comes by the left hip. Find crescent lunge towards the front of the mat. So crescent lunge, left knee is lifted, right knee is bent. We'll inhale, and as you exhale, big step forward. Use that right leg. Awesome, hands come to the hips. Step the right leg back into warrior two on the left side. So left foot is forward, right leg is back. Reach the arms out wide. Torso is right over the pelvis. Hips are open towards the long edge of the mat. With breath, inhale, flip the front palm, reverse. Stretch to the left side. Exhale, into back into warrior two. Again, inhale, flip the palm, reverse. Right hand slides down the right leg and exhale, warrior two. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Warrior two, as we inhale, we're gonna bring the right hand by the right hip, turn onto the ball of the right foot, inhale to your crescent lunge, right leg back, Inhale, as you exhale, step forward, press into that left foot. All right, arriving in your standing pose, we'll, turn, we'll take tree pose. Right foot comes into the inner arch of the left calf. You can use it as a kickstand, placing the right heel in the left ankle, or you can bring it up into the left inner thigh. Hands come down to the heart. Hey, everybody. If you want, you have the balance, you can reach the arms up. Keep the core engaged, keep pressing that right foot into the left thigh. Inhale and exhale, hands come back down. Bring the knee back in and slowly drop it down. Other side, you can bring that left heel into the right ankle as a kickstand, keeping the left toes on the ground, or you can bring your left foot into the right right calf, just not the knee. If you have the um, flexibility, you can bring it up into the right inner thigh and then start to really press that thigh into the foot or calf into the foot, hands to the heart. Focus your gaze on something in the room that's not moving. And if you want, you can reach the arms up, you can reach the hands behind the back, interlacing the hands rooting through the right foot. Stay with the breath. Inhale. And exhale, slowly draw the knee back into center and then slowly drop it down. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. We're gonna come down into a seated position. Just sitting cross-legged. Bring the hands down onto the knees or thighs. Take a couple neck rolls, just releasing the neck. However this feels comfortable, maybe it's neck hemicircles. Start to slow down the breath. And then when you're ready, make your way back and just to a neutral position with the neck Close the eyes, sit up nice and tall. Start to bring your awareness to your breath. In and out through the nose, deep healing breath. And before we enter the rest of our day, just taking a moment to think of one kind thing that you can do for yourself, one way that you can nourish your mind or your body.
feeling a sense of gratitude for this body, this breath, exactly as it is right now. And take one more breath in together, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands come into the heart. And when you're ready, gently blinking the eyes open. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this flow. Feel free to save it and come back to it anytime. If you need to stretch or breathe. And if you want to see more yoga, be sure to comment down below. Have a great weekend. I'll see you soon.